Mr. Otter Studio, we're going to show you how to make a print using a styrofoam plate. So the good thing with making prints is you can make as many as you want. So you can make cards with these, you can make a bunch of them and give them to all your friends. So it's not like a painting where you only have one. And with prints, you can make a bunch of them, just kind of like a stamp. We are going to use styrofoam that we've cut out from a to-go box, but you can also use styrofoam from a styrofoam plate. We're using acrylic paint. We're using the styrofoam brayer or roller that you can get at a craft store and also at a hardware store. So anywhere where people paint. And we're just gonna roll in on a plate like this. And a pencil to draw or a pen to draw into the styrofoam. And that's all you need. Let's get started. We, Amy is helping me today. We're, I'm gonna show you how to make styrofoam prints. So it's a great way to reuse and recycle these to-go boxes you might get, or you can use styrofoam plates if you have those at your house as well. So anything that's styrofoam is gonna work. And what you wanna do is just cut out the flat part of it. So if it's a plate, cut out the middle part. No need to be a perfectionist here. So once you cut out whatever shape, whatever you're using, these are what we're gonna draw into and then we're gonna use those like a stamp we're gonna print on paper. So there's a lot of different types of prints that you can make. There's intaglio, which uses copper plates. There's lithography that uses stones or aluminum sheets. But today we're gonna use the classic styrofoam. Before, I would do some sketches. What do you wanna put on your plate? One of mine, let's say, I just wanna put a face on there. Okay, so these are just my ideas. So sketch out some ideas before you start. Grab your foam plate, and I'm just gonna re-sketch it on here. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna press it into the styrofoam, and I'm using a pen. You can use a pencil, just something that's gonna press it down and leave an indent, because wherever it's indented is going to stay white when I put paint all over this. And you don't have to do a shape drawing. You can do, you know, just a drawing of anything, really. The only thing is, if you use words, you need to make sure you write them backwards, because this is gonna print the opposite way. Oh, Mister. Backwards and upside down. So here's my print. So once you have drawn whatever you want to draw on the styrofoam plate, get a plate. And this is called a brayer. And you can buy these at craft stores. You can try to use a foam paintbrush to do this. The only problem is you don't want any paint to get in these dips or else it's not going to stay white. So that's why these work really well. But you can also get a foam brush and just lightly go over it like this. But I would definitely recommend one of these. Get your paint and use acrylic paint. You're gonna roll up your brayer like this. It's called rolling up. You wanna cover it completely in that co color. Something that's kinda cool too is you can use two colors. I'll show you in the next tutorial. And um, roll them like this and it'll like have one color fading into the next. The good thing also with printmaking is you can make a ton of prints. You're not just stuck with one drawing or one image. So I can just tell I need a little bit more on this side. So keep rolling it until you've got a nice coat covering the whole thing. Maybe just do a test roll. So this is what it's gonna look like. So you wanna roll it a few times because we want it to be completely green. So that's a good reason to test it. Then you're gonna take your foam, and you're gonna roll that paint over it. Cover the whole thing in that color. Then grab your paper. Just flip it over on there. Press it pretty good and then take it off and you'll have your print. So the cool thing with this is I can make as many of these as I want now because I have my stamp. This is a great way to make cards. It's pretty simple. The cool thing with this project is you can use things that you have around. This might be something that is a little bit harder for you to come by. You can also get it at a hardware store. So you can find these in more places than you would think. And you can try a foam brush, but again, just it, it's you got to be careful not to get any paint in these cracks. If your paint's too watery, it's going to get in these cracks. So have fun with this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to trace an image onto your foam paper in the next tutorial. So if you're interested, click on this link. Do you like my color finger? <laughs> so I hope you have fun with this. Have a great day. Remember, use acrylic paint. Whatever. Also, if you're having a hard time coming up with what to draw, go ahead and click on some of these links. They are to some of our drawing tutorials. So if you are just have a blank mind, don't know what to do, just go ahead and click on this.